last night. Morning, gentlemen. Is the BBC in crisis? No. The BBC denies it's in crisis, but more bosses are walking out the revolving door. The head of news and her deputy stepped aside Monday with the world-famous broadcasting giant at the center of a child sex abuse scandal. I have decided that the honorable thing to do is to step down from the post of Director General. George and Whistle, who ran the company, resigned over the weekend after the BBC's investigative program wrongly accused a top politician of sexually abusing children. The BBC's flagship show, Newsnight, incriminated former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher's treasurer. Then the network apologized, admitting it was wrong. The man was not named, but his identity became public. This overhaul at the BBC is happening amid a widespread child abuse scandal that reportedly took place inside the news network premises. Anchor Jimmy Savile, who died last year, allegedly abused 300 victims over several decades when he was a BBC employee. An investigation is now trying to determine if there was a wider cover-up that allowed the TV host to sexually abuse young girls and boys. The new CEO says he will get some answers. This is about establishing clear lines of responsibility in our journalism and delivering the output we trust, and I think I'm in a good position to do that. He vowed the radio and TV network known as the Voice of England will regain its credibility. Monica Villamizar, CBS News, London.